Hold on. Oh, sorry. What's up, everybody? It's Demo with Demo Vapes. We are here live with Michelle Lynn from Dull Dime Mods, and we're going to take a look at uh, the new Dull Dime mod that uh, he sent me. Uh, or he sent me. Excuse me. She sent me over. Uh, just I got it today. Hold on. And, let me check. Uh, yeah. Right, 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 right. Sorry about that. And just kind of popped out of my mouth. Um, anyway, so uh, welcome, boys and girls. That's just I become a your, thing. That's what? okay. I, I'm just trying to load your uh, YouTube page so I can see if people comment. Oh, sure. Yeah. What I do is I typically pop the chat out so you can go to that little uh, oh. three little dots up in the upper right hand corner of the chat, pop it out, I, and then I can drag it over. I did not know that. Yeah. It's really, it's nice and easy to that because I have two screens. So I have my screen here that I'm seeing you and me on. Yeah. Chat over, chat over here, right? And then I've got my YouTube screen over there. So I have one little MacBook screen. Yeah. <laughs> I see, I, I, you know, I'm a currencies trader. So two screens is like a minimum. Oh. I, mean, I, would I would love to have four, but, yeah. you know, it would be uh, a little bit hard on the system. So what's up, everybody? All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got Vapor Swaggins, James Franklin. Cardmon experience. What's up, George? J. Jerry. Um, let's see here. J. Jerry, my doctor told me to take him an activity that gets me out of the pub, so I've started smoking. Well, that's not good. Start vaping. Let's see here. Um, probably just a joke. Anyway, um, let's see here. So, full savage clown vapes. Uh, Chris Snyder, Mirko is here, Dave Satek, Peter Portalatin, Vapex, Damon Hyman. Let's see here. Robert Wiggles, Mr. Panda, Austin Kammer. All right, Adam Vapes, Christian, what is up, everybody? So we are doing this unboxing here. And Michelle Lynn, if you're not familiar, Michelle Lynn creates mods out of um, vintage tins of some sort you know whether they be altoids or band-aid tins or anything like that and um they are uh, you know they are some of the most desired mods out there on the market i think because there is no market for there them, is right <laughs> like there's no there's no market for them no. right like you you send these mods to people that you decide right yeah i mean you know basically i just make them for friends or or you know i you know the big like folks that are um I mean, like I've gotten some shit from people that are like, oh, well, only vape reviewers, but that's not the case. It's because those certain vape reviewers do a lot for advocacy. It's it's not the fact that they're just, you know, on YouTube. Right. It's the fact that they dedicate every week, you know, a good amount of time to advocacy. And that's the most important thing for us. And it's what got me into making my own mods and making my own juices because, you know, I've been having a fucking heart attack that I'm not going to be able to vape. So I'm just like, well, if they want to legally make it, you know that we can't do it then i'll just have all my shit at home and do it so right yeah and i mean you know if worse came to worse and we lost all our flavors or you know certain things were you know banned as a result of safety concerns or whatever you know there will always be sort of a market of well market of uh you know sort of underground modders and people who are doing it themselves and whatnot you know which we'll like, uh will become like modern day bootleggers right exactly you know or like the uh you know how people, uh, you know, growing marijuana in states where it's illegal and stuff, you know, um, along those lines. But yeah, I mean, the only thing that, you know, the thing that really gets me about that situation is, of course, the, uh, you know, nicotine would be regulated, right? So you could run into some situations where you might not be able to get nicotine concentrate. Yeah, that's true. Or homemade juice, which could be a problem. But That would suck. Yep, that would be a major issue. Anyway... So let's see. We got thirty-four people watching right now. I just I just mixed up a batch of uh, I don't know. I vape three milligram all the time, and and I just vape all day long. So I I mixed up a batch of six milligram. I forgot how fucking strong it can be. Yeah, six milligram is a little rough. Yeah, but you know what? I like it. But it's yeah. it's honestly it's it is a bit too much. Yeah, so. I vaped uh, when I was at ECC Ontario I, when I went up to the. QP Designs booth to take a look at the Kali RDA. The guy had his with six milligram in it, and he didn't tell me before I took a hit off He's of dead. it. It's like <laughs> I was just like, whoa! This is just like throat hit like crazy. Yeah. So, so what are uh, what are you vaping on right now? Um, I'm vaping on a loss of Opso. Oh. Yeah. Must be uh, essence of dog and. <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the flavors dog shit and. Uh, yeah, right. Um, so I'm vaping on this, which I completed yesterday or the day before. I forget. 
it's just a, um, it's kind of a rare Curious George uh, tin that was a hard find. And uh, it's just a dual parallel box. Um, we've got another one. This is a dual parallel, but it's also dual MOSFET with a board in it from MOSMAX uh, electro Electronics. And it's all it is is it's like a combined switch dual MOSFET. So okay. it's, it's really nice. Nothing to really go wrong. And then I've got uh, my mahogany box mod I made a while ago. That is which, really cool. I, I was kind of creeping on your Instagram, and I saw that, and I was like, wow. That's really yeah, cool. and I just, uh, well, you were a bass player. I, it's it's um, just the natural wood with a lot of uh, oil on it, tongue oil. And uh, one more thing, and that is my my second version of the Curad 10. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. What the fuck are you doing? Get down. Um, let's see here. I can't. Uh, my eyes are terrible. So if anyone's typing something to me, like I don't know, highlight I'll, it or something. I'll I'll let you know if uh, if I see something that that you've missed. Um, let's oh, thank see you, here. Chris. That was nice. Chris, Demo wins the first. Chris drill. Snyder said Michelle Lynn this thing. That was, that's nice. What's What's the what? Chris first Lynn. dripper going on Michelle your dill dime. Oh, it's going to be the Equitas, and that's purely because uh, that's what I have built and ready to go for a parallel box. So. Um, so that's going to be it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, no, no sense in waiting any longer. If anybody misses it, we can just uh, they can go back and watch the replay. So, Dill Dime and uh, making very careful not to show your address here. I, yeah. I, I don't think that I put put it the other side around. Yeah. The first time. I'm gonna make sure that I'm very careful about that stuff. Every now and again, I'll see a YouTuber like put, hold up a box and the, their address will be on it. And I'll be like, no, no. Like, <laughs> uh oh. Wait, I got a question. Should I answer it or wait for you to do that? What's the question? Says, I'd like to know how non stabilized wood holds up to the heat. Holds up great. I don't have any issues. The mod itself doesn't get warm. It's not the tin vapes, on the other hand. Um, when I first started making them, I wasn't putting like a big washer underneath the 510 and the tin was getting so hot you couldn't hold it. So um, that that washer, and they've gotten thicker as I've been kind of making more, uh, is basically a heat sink. I would imagine with the tin, with the tin being so thin that it would yeah, be very it's very, ridiculous. Get get very very hot. All right, let's see here. Let me make sure we've got the right side facing out here. Um, let's see here. Oh, you sent me along a uh, yeah a CD. You got awesome. All my CDs. Okay, cool. I'll make sure to I'll make sure to check that out. That's awesome, and it's, de it's depressing. So that's a warning. No, you didn't, uh, Stephen. Wow. All right. Here, here we go. Excited about this. I feel like I'm on. I feel like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get this without cutting it. Okay. Boom. There Double it is. Four. Guys. Double O four. That is the second uh, tin that I made. No, I'm sorry. It's the third tin. Third tin? Yeah. So the first tin is the one that Grim Green has right now, that Jorad tin. That was number one. Uh, number two was my first Altoids, but uh, Jennifer Berger Coleman has that one now. And now you have number four, which I used for a while. That was my personal everyday, you know, vape. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this looks awesome, though. All right, let me uh, let me unpresent myself real quick, and then. All right, cool. So, oh yeah, I see what you mean with the washer. Yeah. So let's see here. So does this when this goes on? Oh, I see that little. You put a little thing in there to hold. Yeah, it. Yeah, I, I had to okay. solder a um a little piece of uh, copper in there to keep the lid closed because with all the cutting away from the box that I do, you the lid won't stay closed otherwise. Right. So basically, just push in like over here. Yeah. Just push that in with your finger, and then it opens right up. Yep. 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 Got that. All right, cool. And then is this a MyTech switch on the side? Of course. Okay, cool. I haven't and tried I mean, one. I, it. I, is, I, like one. My, I like it. I'm sorry. I like the way MyTechs feel, but yeah. I also use MyTechs because I tried using like some of the less expensive ones, and they just fail all the time. Sure. And I've never had a MyTech uh, fail on me. Sure. This looks nicely wired and everything. Awesome. All right, well... Let me uh, let me go ahead and stick some uh, stick some batteries and the RDA on top here. 
I've got some of these new, these are just rated by Mooch as 30 amps, 2000 milliamp hours, these new Vapcell Blacks. Oh, I have never seen them before. Normally I'm not, I, I usually just use VTC 5As, but yep. these ones uh, hit harder than VTC 5As for a short nice. time. So it's it's trade off, but if I yeah. use them at home, I don't mind the slightly shorter battery life. You'll know what you're hitting at because uh, that one I sent you has a meter in it. So it'll yep. give you the, the voltage, you know, um, after the, the atomizer, meaning like with the voltage drop sure. and everything. This is showing me 4.145 volts, which is fine. That's about, I, I, they've been sitting on the charger for a while, so I wouldn't have expected them to be full. Yeah. So let's uh, let's pop her on here. Oops, I've got some leaking on this RDA. Hold on. Yeah. Fix that real quick. All right. 3.5, 3.6 on a 0.11. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty That's not bad. A 0.11, you know, that's pretty low. So, yep. it's, you know, the lower the, the, the um, ohms, the, the more of a hit you're going to get on the batteries. Sure, absolutely. All right, let's see. Uh... That hits nice and hard. That is Steven, I can't, Romaine? Romaine. Romaine? Romaine, yep. Romaine. Yeah, I, I personally use either VTC 5s or 5As. I'm replacing everything with 5As, but, you know, I've got, I've got batteries that are three years old, you know, 25Rs that are still going strong. So, but I rotate my batteries a lot, so. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> still, I, I got over being sick, like, over a week ago, and I'm still still having some uh, cough and stuff coming. It's in the way of your vaping, man. I know it sucks. Um, what are what are you doing with my mod, dude? To Stephen Romine, <laughs> funny. You're, you're real funny there, Stephen. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to find a 22 millimeter atomizer, I think, for this guy, just to make it look, you know, not quite so <laughs> like. Boop. Yeah. But yeah, because have, the, have... the body is only 20 millimeters wide. Well, right, yeah, and that's and that's the that's the issue is you know I was I was curious I was like is this going to be twenty four and then I was like it's an Altoids tin there's no way I actually have a package from uh, uh, Ken Hill um, that I got that I haven't even opened it yet either and it's a new TM twenty four so I'll I'll just I'll stick it on there I don't care if yeah. it overhangs absolutely I mean it's not that's not what this is like like no. this still looks awesome this is awesome I'm, this is about I'm... it's about old school vaping. It's about what mods were originally when there were no mods, you know, right, when the right. best you could do was like, you know, one of those little, uh, somebody remind me the name, you know, the little batteries, but they weren't a bed. It was like all enclosed. Are the egos or what? Yeah. Yeah. Like an ego twist or something. Yeah. But yeah, this is, that's where mod, the name mod came from because people modified, you know, Altoids tins or old Hammond boxes. And yeah, I actually, a mod. friend of mine, a friend of mine, uh, Matt, Hemo Matt, as some of you guys know, um, he actually has a Altoids tin DNA 40. Or, <laughs> really? Or is it a DNA 20? I can't even remember. It's, it's really old. Yeah. And uh, he's got it, they've got it in their, in their vape shop, just sitting on the shelf because, you know, it's at this point, it's, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's awesome! Collector's though. item, it's cool stuff. So I'm, I'm, I am really honored that you chose to send this my way. Really, I, uh, I, who would have known that a, that a Rick impression would be, <laughs> would be all that was, all that was needed. <laughs> yeah, well, I was pretty drunk and high, so I mean, you, you, you got me at the right time. Well, it is awesome. Oh, and it also, oh, and you sanded this down at the bottom so it stands up. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. like, see, the, a lot of people like they ask, they want to know how to do it, and like, I, a, I'm like the worst teacher on the planet, and b, if I tell you to do something and then you make a mod and you blow yourself up, like I don't want to be responsible no, for that. No. 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 You at know. All. So, but there's there's a lot of work uh, when I build these mods. More than half of the work goes into the tin itself because no, you've no got to. Yeah, you've got to make it so it stands up. So you've got to cut the entire lip off and make sure it's as flat as possible. Um, yeah. Sometimes if they're not flat enough, I'll poke. Um, like I'll make some, I'll take a, a hammer and an awl and I'll make some little like basically feet on the other side so they still stand up straight. Um, Full Savage just said Red Nudge, Red Nudge 22 for this, this, this mod. That is definitely what I'm going to do because I just got a Nudge 22 in my Grim Green $2 Patreon box. That is red. Yeah, and that would be perfect. Matt Cully is sending me one. It's probably in the mail right now, but 
I want to try that too because he posted a picture with with his uh, he put a blue nudge on the on the mod I made him, which was like a blue Altoids. It was a peppermint, I think, sure. and it looked amazing on there. Looked awesome. really good. Awesome. I'm very excited. I, I really like the uh, the pinup on the front too. My fiance is going to be very very jealous well, of, of me. That particular mod. tin is pretty is pretty rare as well. So there, you know, you can get a pinup Altoids on eBay or Etsy pretty easily, but to find one that has horns on it, that's a hard find. What I'm also really impressed with is is that this hits really hard. I was, you know, I, not to say that I wasn't expecting that it would. Yeah. But I was thinking I was like Altoids tin homemade mod, like you know, like. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, well, it's a like matter I, of using. I, I had no expectations. So you want to use like a large gauge wire, right? And you want to make sure that your solders are immaculate, you know. And and then it's like just checking with the multimeter, make sure everything's flowing perfectly. And uh, I mean, if you just put batteries in there, you take the atomizer off, you know, it shows you your battery uh, life, and there's very little loss. You know, I mean, right. I can't even measure it on my meter. So, right. Let's see here. Shell, I know you said this before. How long does it take you to do a mod? Uh, about 10 hours for each one. Um, about five or six hours of carving up the body and praying that it doesn't tear while I'm doing it. And uh, then just wiring it up and checking all the, checking everything. And I'm, I'm pretty, um, I'm like a perfectionist, which is a bad trait, but... Ah, no, it's, that's a good trait. That's, that's as far as I, I'm, I'm also a perfectionist. It's the same with my coils that I make. I mean, you know, nowhere yeah. near as difficult as making something like this, but you know, at the same time, it's, uh, you know, well, that's what you say. I've, I've awesome. tried making like Clapton's and all that. I can't even make a Clapton and you're making a hell of a lot more than Clapton. So, so well, it's, it's, it's just, I'm sure as, as with, with your mods, you know, it's just practice, you know I mean? Like at the end of the day I made, I have put out, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of how many feet of wire I've probably gone through that ended up in the garbage can. Probably at least two or three thousand feet have ended up in the Holy garbage shit. can. You know, like yeah, just because it's you know it's the nature of the beast. <laughs> and I am including my wrap wire <laughs> in that calculation. Okay. <laughs> Speaking I, um... of drinking, I have a beer. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna. I'll, I'll show you what beer I'm drinking. It's okay. not going to flash it up real long. This is what I'm drinking right now. Oh, Michelle Lynn has got a rig. Let's see. Science. <laughs> Bro science. So this you, is Dave. Rapture from Odell Brewing Company. And, uh, or not Rapture, Rupture, I guess is what they're calling it. And it's, they, it's kind of an IPA-like thing, but it's more of a pale ale. I don't know. It's very delicious. Yum. Um, if it, is, is anyone in the in this uh, little group here up for me to bitch and moan for a couple seconds? Sure, go for it. So I'm building right now. Uh, Kent, you know, Twisted Messes his mod, and uh, his sure. mod is a uh, PWM mod, so pulse width modulation, like like a hexome where you set it with a uh, potentiometer, you know, the voltage, but sure. um. Technically, Hexome uses a different board. They don't. They have their own. It's an OKL board, but I guess that's neither here nor there. But anyway, I'm making it and wired it all up. And uh, motherfucking board is not working. Um, so I've been for the past two hours uh, chatting up and back with uh, the manufacturer of this board, who I probably shouldn't say right now. Um, you know, I'm just now like this mod that was all nice and pretty and done. Now I'm like pulling wires off of it, and this is this is where it's at. Can you see? This is where it's at right now. Wait, let's see. Here, hold on. I got my stupid chat thing in the way. Hold on. There we go. All right. Yep, that looks. Uh... <laughs> that, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. So that's the board, yep. and that there's a. Uh, a hole and a bezel that I put in there for to mount that, but um, yeah, I don't I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. My my connections are good. Uh, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, I wonder if you just have a bad board. I, I you know I think it is. It's it's. I mean, it's pretty straightforward to wire one of these things up, right. and uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But that's so. I'll tell the group what I was bitching to you earlier about, which is that I I hate building mods with boards because 
So that's another thing to go wrong. Whereas that mod you're using right now, 004, honestly, I don't think you could break it if you tried. Yeah, I mean, unless the solder came off, but everything in here looks really, really very the solid. Wire, the wire that. would break before a solder came off on that right. thing. Right, no, I mean, the solders look huge. So, I yeah. mean, you know, it's it's they're, it's not going to come off anytime soon. <coughs> or <coughs> or ever, likely. Um, <coughs> yeah, Vapor Swaggins, which that's an amazing name, by the way. It's a great name. Yeah, you're right. The board just sounds dead on arrival. Right. Yeah, but I exactly. So I'm having to, like, troubleshoot everything. Uh, I should probably tell people what he asked. He said to convince the company it wasn't user error. And, and yeah, that's I'm troubleshooting everything with him giving him readings. And uh, I don't I don't think it's me. Yeah. But I love I love that there's a voltage meter on this mod because I've always kind of assumed that voltage meters would take a little bit of the voltage, you know, from the hit. But technically a little I bit. I mean, right? point zero zero like one. I mean, it, yeah, but it is. You're right. It's going to take a little bit. Right, but it, it, it feels negligible, right? Like, as yeah. far as, like, this hits just as hard as the Titan that I have. If, I, if I, use little, that if I use that particular one. I use that one without a meter for a while. And when I put the meter on it, I, I couldn't tell any difference. Yeah. yeah. No, it's definitely it's definitely very good. But I, but I usually don't do meters. Um, that <laughs> one just has a meter because it was my personal mod. Um I think the only one that I built with a meter was for uh, Angela over at uh, uh, Vape News Magazine. Sure. I put, I put a meter in hers, uh, and that was about it. Yeah. Well, this is really awesome. So uh, any update on JBC? Or she's, she's on her way home, right? Uh, so. Let me check. So JBC he, may, may or may not be joining us for a little advocacy talk. So to totally yeah, she, unplanned, she, but, you know. She hasn't texted back yet. She and, you know, Like I said, she's on her way home right now. So maybe we'll catch her, maybe we won't. I don't know. Uh, does anyone have any mod questions for me? Yeah, ask away. Now is now is the time. <laughs> Freaking tech support is always awful, making you feel like an idiot douche. Oh, douchebags! But it makes me feel like an idiot douchebag. But either or, that period they're not period. <laughs> so one thing that I've been trying out. Um, What's the cost of a decent board? Right, um, right. My Big Al mods. Oh fuck! I just said who makes the board. Uh, yep. Uh, it's like oh, 20 bucks. You know, they're actually, you know, they're pretty inexpensive. Most mod parts are pretty inexpensive. Where it gets pricey is like, um, I built one DNA mod, and, uh, you know, the, that board's expensive, but I mean, those things work pretty flawlessly. Um, where do you buy internals? Um, I, I, a lot of places. Um, I get from. As far as like MOSFETs and uh, resistors, uh, wire, things like that, I get from uh, DigiKey uh, just because I know that like if I get MOSFETs from them, they're they're going to actually be real ones and not a counterfeit one because there's a ton of counterfeit MOSFETs on the market. Um, as far as like bezels and uh, uh, MyTech switches, I, I get from a lot of places, but lately I've been getting mostly from a place called Drip3D.com with two Ds in it. Um, their prices are good. Their shipping is super fast, and uh, they're just easy to deal with. Um, as far as uh, the battery tray goes, that I only get from one place, and I will gladly tell you who. It's uh, Moss Max Electronics, and that's because they make one of the few battery trays around that's uh, not um, 3D printed, but it's actually like uh, injection molded, and it's really nice. It's compact. Um, the the original battery trays from uh, and I'm, they were injected molded too and I'm trying to think of the name but like it's a very standard one they um they're just too damn big I mean you can use them and they work fine but you but talking I, about the ones that go in like the fifty the fifteen ninety like project boxes yeah like the old like they were originally Keystone Keystone battery okay, slip sure, yeah. you know and that was kind of like the standard that everyone used for a while but uh, these Mossmax um, trays are amazing. You know, I, I don't have to like I don't have to solder the um God damn it. Okay guys, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting like everything right now. Okay. Um All right, someone help me out. What are these things called again? The little the, the contacts. The contacts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you used to have to like solder them off the off of the um battery tray and then connect them because you would melt the tray. These suckers, I just put them right on, solder directly on there. They don't melt. They don't distort. They're great. That's awesome. 
We got some good chat, good chat comments. Vapor Swaggin says, Michelle, we love you. You're a Stooge crew hero. Thank and you. And uh, hashtag Supreme Stooge Michelle. <laughs> you guys have to explain that to me. What's this? What's what's Supreme Stooge? I think uh, some of the members of the Vape Stew crew created the Supreme Stooge hashtag for the, uh, the uh, people presenting, right? So like either you know the, the main Vape Stew cast, so to speak, as well as uh, you or anybody else who comes on presenting. Yeah, gotcha. That's like uh, with uh, uh, Nick. It's uh, the Yo Yo Club. Oh yeah, for his patrons. Yeah. I created a, uh, a hybrid hashtag for anybody who's a patron of Grim Green and also a member of Vape Stew, uh -huh. and it's uh, the Yo Yo Boy hashtag Yo 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 Boy. B O I or B O I. B O I. Yeah. So it's uh, it hasn't it hasn't caught on yet, but that's. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see here, Demo. I'm so yelly. Love the Deldai mods. Yeah, dude, it's, her little princess. It's <laughs> awesome. No, I'm gonna use the hell out of this. Like, I good. Has anybody has anybody ever had like an issue with theirs that they had to send it back? No. Get it fixed. No, but well, I tell I'm everyone that it has it. I'm gonna use it very very often. That's fine. <laughs> I tell everyone um, that it has a my lifetime warranty. Sure. If I'm alive, I'll fix it. You know, and uh, I would much rather you take it somewhere that you'd rather not that you were worried about breaking it or whatever. Just take it, use it. You know, it's meant to be used. It's not meant to look collect dust yeah, on the shelf. Yeah, it feels it feels very solid, actually. Like you know, all of the components in here probably make it much more solid than just the tin. Yeah, like on the battery tray, instead of epoxying it to the um, to the tin, which tins are really thin, so it ends right. up actually you'll you'll dent the tin in the back if you do that. So I now use a, a servo tape. Which is okay. like once you get it on, you cannot remove it. But but it also cushions it a bit. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Let's see here. Supreme the Supreme Clothing is a really popular, expensive line and a stooge and a stooge from the show. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Stephen Romine, four ninety nine. Always love your live. Thank you for the donation, Aww. Stephen. Appreciate that very very much. Let's see. Oh, we've got clean AF coils in here. What's up, Freddie? Awesome. Well, yeah, we've got quite a stooge crew going on. I was hoping that we'd get more people from uh, from Namber Juice, but I don't yeah. think any, I don't think anybody caught it. Are there any Yo-Yo members in this uh, chat? Yeah. Do we have any Yo-Yo uh, Cool Club? Yeah. Blah blah. Yo-Yo Cool Kids Club. What's the thing people always say? Hit one or plus one if you're oh, Yo-Yo. Yeah. One one if you're a Yo-Yo, two if you're not. Okay. The the Kent uh, the Kent thing, yeah. Oh my God, that guy is so goddamn funny. He's so Kent. I didn't really know what to think about Kent when I first met him. Uh -huh. Um and the uh, sarcasm is pretty strong in that man. Oh, he, he's it's dry as all hell. Like you know, I mean, he's he's his humor is so dry, and it's so difficult to know sometimes when he's just kidding or when he's like actually serious. So like I was at first, I was always just kind of like. Do you like me or do you hate me? I don't know. <laughs> but we had a really good conversation over email. Um, he sent me a replacement deck for my TM24 Pro because I was having some resist resistance jumping issues. Yeah. And our email conversation divulged into what 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 I thought makes a good squonking atomizer and like what, you know, like we talked about like RDA design and coil design based, you know, relative to RDAs and all this kind of stuff, like just like randomly over email. And it was just like a cool vapey conversation. Yeah. I mean, there's always that among vapors, there's always like that commonplace, uh, like kind of just vape language. And, and, you know, you can talk all day about vapes. You don't have to ever talk about what you do for a living or anything like that. Just, you know, and it's kind of nice. Damon, Damon Hyman is yes. here from the Namber Group. Cool. Kent reminds me well, of a typical welcome, Cali. Damon, Damon Hyman. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kent's not from Cali. Yeah, he's from, uh, he, shit. I don't remember where he's from. Utah. Utah, okay. Vape is love, vape is life. Oh, yeah. Hells yeah. Hitting nice and hard. Well, see, what I really like about this is that now I can kind of test relatively, like the relative hard hitting of batteries, because I've got the the 
the board in there that tells you the voltage. Yeah, I like that. I like yeah, that too. Really nice. Does you it know, kind of take like an average between the two batteries? Is that how that works? Um, well, yes, it's an average. But if you you know because it's a parallel mod, you can run one battery in that, and right. you'll see if you're running one. Look, I'm I'm giving you like VTC five A numbers right now. Sure. But if you run one battery fully charged uh, with the um, uh, voltage drop, you're going to get about 3.45 volts. Yep. With two, you'll get about 3.8. Um, I was just going to say, because I've got, I've got 3.31 volts here on this 0.11 on a, with a single battery. Yeah. And then when I add the other battery back, 3.53. So, yeah, that definitely makes a big difference. That's still a little low, though. I think, I think your batteries are a little... Do you have five A's you could pop in there? I do, but not up here right now. But oh, okay. um, yeah, no. So I mean, so with the low resistance build and with, uh, I mean, I I vaped enough five A's and enough, you know, of these yeah. batteries to know like what is like a hard hit. Yeah. And it, on this build, like it feels like it hits nice and hard. So I, I'll be curious. I'll definitely as. Oh wait, you know, when you know I what? I'm forgetting. So. Sorry, the numbers I just gave you are for a 0.2 ohm build, and you're you're all the way down there at like 0.1, right? 0.11, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's why there's more voltage drop. That's not the batteries. That's yeah. I'm an idiot. No, it's all good. Uh, Michael Diamantino, ten bucks. What's up, boy? What's up, Mike? Thanks for your thanks for your donation, sir. Appreciate it. What is up? My wife got me a PWM with voltmeter. It's my one vape to rule the rule them all. Gosh. Sorry, guys. I'm practically fucking blind. Um. Good. What kind of, uh, so Vapor Swagons, what kind of mod is it? Do you know? Let's see here. Vapex says, uh, anyone use the Galici 40 amp 21700? I have not uh, used the Galici batteries at all, and I actually haven't used any 21700s yet because I'm just not not satisfied with, like, the, there's no factory batteries being released yet. Like, there's no, yeah. like, Sonys or LGs. And I know those are coming. Right, like yeah. everybody tells me that those are coming, but I'm gonna kind of wait until we get some like good A A bin batteries that are like meant to, you know. Meant well, to you know, when when it comes to batteries, I'm not that adventurous. I just go by what John says is like the one to you know to use because oh, he you know he tests b battery mooch, ah, tests okay. he tests all all of his you know, and he knows so much about batteries it's ridiculous. So I don't even bother. He says use this battery. I'm gonna use that battery. Sure, 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 sure. What Let's what are the batteries here. that the original uh, Tony's uh, Squonker was that a twenty seven hundred or twenty one twenty seven hundred twenty? Okay, so I've yeah. I've got a couple of iJoys that he recommended, and the, the, those are the good. five. Yeah, it's not a bad battery. It's pretty damn good. I just well, I'm I just actually went, using. Go ahead. I'm using the uh, the Vapcell Gold, which is a Sanyo A rewrap. So this oh. is Sanyo A. And there is a big difference between the iJoys and these ones. These ones hit ludicrously hard. But aren't the A's like impossible to get hold of? Yeah, but every now and again, if you can, if you see some of these Vapcell Golds, uh -huh. um, they they are the Sanyo A's, and they typically sell for like sixteen bucks a battery because of the nature of how how rare they are to find. But yeah. they're worth it. Like I bought six when I first saw that they were coming out. So that. Uh, you know, I was like, I know that this is expensive, but All right, let me grab a set of five A's real quick. Fives. Five A's. Let's see. Five A. Here we go. Yes, of course, Jay. Jay said he came in late. He wondered if you can see the mod. This is this is it. I just as far as the RDA, I just threw what I had built and ready to go on top. So this is uh, this is the mod right here. And inside of the mod, you've got the uh, dual parallel with um, the voltage meter right here. So if I press that, you can see that it's coming in 3.53. All I'm right, so the batteries in my mod right now are 25 hours, but I've been I've been using these all day, and I'm, I'm at like 3. Point, you see? I can't. Or is I can't. that too bright? I think it's too bright. All right, so it's like 3.7. I'm all the way down to so. Yeah. The, the, you know, it's getting kind of weak. So these are five A's. They're a little on the older side. Let's see what they're getting. So just, all right, so I'm at 4.18 volts. And then sure. with a 0.2 ohm um, atomizer on it. Yeah. 3.83. 3. 
So yeah, it hits pretty damn hard with fresh batteries. I was gonna say the uh, the uh, I'm, I I just these were fresh, sort of. Uh -huh. They were like four point one six or so. Yeah, I remember. And uh, now after just a few minutes, we're at uh, four point oh three point point four point oh four. Yeah. That's I usually I'll vape so well. them down normally to like three point six. Not not with the uh, you know not loaded up just. Yeah. You know the actual because a after that they just get weak. You know. So for me, I, I don't even usually make it that low. I uh, yeah. You know, cause, well, because I vape lower resistance, right? So oh, yeah, as you get that battery sag, it yeah. gets even. I, I tend to replace my batteries right around three point eight, like typically, just because it's. I find that for me, it tends to sort of start sagging a little bit too much with that yeah. kind of load. Is that where you normally vape at? Yeah, point one one is like my uh, standard dual coil build. Yeah. Um, it depends though. I mean, so if I have an atomizer with a little less airflow, I might go up to like 0 0.13, 0 0.14. Um, and, uh, other than that, the, uh, you know, I, I, it, it, it depends. Like I've, I'm in this, in this one right here, I've got like a 0.26 in here mm -hmm. right now. It needs a little bit higher, uh, resistance. Is that one battery in that? Single battery, single coil. Yep. Yeah. So. I, 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 I kind of, well, I mean, you can do two dual coil on a single battery, but I kind of like to match the number of coils to the number of batteries I have, right? Yeah. Like, like sort sort of, right? Like if it's a, if it's going to be dual coil, typically it's going to be low resistance for me and then I'll, I'll put, you know, dual parallel. So uh, I normally, I normally vape at a uh, point two. Okay. I'm not that adventurous. Cause I, I, I like, you know, the battery life I get with that and, and it, and it hits hard for a while at point yeah. two. Yep, um, but I, I, I usually have just like really simple round wire builds, you know, and, but when you're starting to do more complicated coils, you definitely need more. Well, I was just going to say when you're doing round wire, point two is actually pretty, pretty legit in terms of like it being a warmer vape. Oh um, yeah, it's definitely warm. You know, for, for when you start getting into all the Claptons and fuse Claptons and stuff, you need a little, as you said, you need a little lower yeah. resistance to kind of. And, and then you have to start like purging and, you right, know. Right, right. Let's see here. Michael Diamantino, when's the 502 review coming? Um, the answer to that question is, I don't know. I, I just had uh, my uh, my cousin just passed away uh, yesterday, actually, from Sorry disease. about that. And uh, so my whole schedule is kind of, fu kind of fucked now because I'm trying to, like, we're figuring out when we're going to go out for the memorial and all that kind of stuff. So my whole review video queue is kind of all up in craziness right now. But uh, that is what is coming next. The 502 is on the queue. It is next. So, uh, Aquitas new favorite RDA. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my new favorite. I would say it's a really, really good RDA though. I've, I've really been digging it. Want to hear a bunch of crap? Sure. So I, I just got a response from, uh, the board maker who, okay. you know, I already, I mean, I checked everything. Uh, you could have shorted the regulator output when you were connecting the board. No, I fucking didn't do that. I swear to God, this is for the guys in the group, and it's probably all guys because most guys vape. But just because <laughs> I have boobs doesn't mean I'm an idiot, you know. And I'm so tired right. of being treated like that. And, this... I mean, don't get me wrong; he, this guy knows his shit too. But I'm not a fucking idiot. I've made more than a few mods. Does this person know who you are? Like, are they aware of like, or, or do they sell these things for most like things other than mods? No, he mainly sells them to like to builders. Right, right. You know, I mean, he makes, they're definitely, you know, but come on, man. I mean, you see on this one right now, I have like a piece of electrical tape on the edge. Right. That's so that I don't short it while I'm building it. Like, right. whatever. It's going to be probably an argument, but you know, worst comes to worst. I'll just, I'll get a different uh, PWM board from someone else. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who... Stan just sent me some stuff. My A buddy of mine is going to build, build Stan a mod. And he, I'm trying to remember what, MOSFET. Vapor I mean, Swaggin, I don't. If he doesn't stand, if he doesn't stand uh, behind this board, hell no. Um, let's see here. I'm going to try to look and see what MOSFET he sent me. Let me see here. Uh, Gunstar V2.1. I don't even know what that is. That's apparently a, 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 a PW, PWM uh Board? Board. I'll have to check it out. Like I said, if, th if this one doesn't work out and he doesn't send me another one, I'm not buying another one from him. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. So we've got that. Cool. Sorry cool. about your uncle, Joshua Apathy Miller. Oh, 
Damn, dude, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Wow. Yeah, my cousin was kind of sudden. I got the news that he was very sick like two or three days, uh, three three or four days ago, maybe. It was like just after Easter. And uh, just got the uh, news, news Jennifer yesterday. Berger called me. She can't tonight. So oh, she nope. can't tonight? Oh, damn. No, not on that one. Just texted. And oh, wait, somebody said something funny because I laughed, but I laughed at a really bad time because you were talking about people dying. Oh, no problem. <laughs> What is it's the, nature, right? it's the nature of this like oh here we go thing, you know it's from oh where the hell? oh there we go the Car cardmon experience yeah his name is george 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 says did that guy ask if you had an anti-static bracelet if you build mods you know what that or computers even yeah dude see when i build computers i build I mean, here here's the fucking anti-static bag that it was in up until like i actually used it i didn't right. even really have it out of here other than for a uh, uh, test fitting right uh when i do when i build stuff i actually wear i typically wear in a trio gloves when i build just purely because like when i'm building computers and whatnot like because mm. i've i've built four or five computers and i just wear gloves and i found that, that you know both both doesn't get any of your skin oils on anything yeah. and it also uh seems to protect okay with uh, what i do is i strap my, I strap a bunch of 18650s to myself and mm. wire myself up, and then I work on the mod. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Get all that electrical current flowing through you. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, Raptor. Sad to hear. Let's see here. You can foil hat. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> you know what I've been really digging lately? I just got one of these guys, these Geek Fate flasks. Oh, that's cool. I haven't these, tried one yet. Oh, these are super cool. So check this out, right? So let me, uh, let me present myself real quick. All right. So these have on the very top, if you unscrew this bit, it's got a little, you know, a little unicorn style tip. It's a little bit of a big hole. So it kind of uh -huh. juice kind of rushes out a little bit, but is that threaded? Yeah, it is. So okay. you screw this back on, right? Yep. But if you want to fill up a squonker, you unscrew the second cap. And boom, you have a 510 uh, squonk bottle refill. That's sweet. That's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. And then I really, I really like Tony's uh, mod, and I love the silicone bottle because unlike uh, you know the, those plastic bottles, the silicone bottle doesn't make your juice taste like shit after a week. Right. Um, but filling it, you know, you fill it, and then you, just trying to get it back into the mod, you, you spill so much juice. Yeah, you got to you got to have one of these. these. Yeah. These make the experience ten thousand times easier. I bet. So, um, and it, and it just makes squonking just so much more convenient, right? Cause like squonking is really inconvenient if you don't have something like that. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm old and I'm old school. And you know, if I'm out, it's usually like this, you know, I've got, I've got my mod, I've got my juice and I to do this, you know, done. No squonking, no wondering how much juice I put in there. Right. And then, and the thing about uh, uh, the Iola Slate, which I've been on this huge kick for lately, you can put two dropper fulls because the airflow is at the top. You can just drown those coils, and and like honestly, it's like having like a mini tank. Right, right, yeah, I do like that about top airflow. That's why I like the Dead Rabbit and the the drop, and well, not not necessarily the drop as much, but like the Dead Rabbit and this, I like running in top <laughs> airflow because it's just easier. Or if um, anyone has like an old support, a Watofo uh, yep. support, Same their time. top airflow. Let's see here. Steven Romine says you should use some 8Ds instead of the 18650s, Michelle. I don't know the what? You, you should use some 8Ds. Is that is that to like strap to myself before I work on something? Oh, are you talking about uh, like D batteries? Is that what you're talking about? Um, let's see here. Empire Vapor. Hey, Demo, should I get a refill bottle for my drip tech or is it easier to refill the normal way? I actually haven't tried a squonk refill on the drip tech because of the way the bottle is firm. So I don't think it would fill up nearly as well as if you just take it out. It, the drip tech is different, right? I find the drip tech or the Defiant Designs DS and TS, I find that those bottles are very different. You, you know, you just have to pull that little plug out and, you know, just fill them up. So... I mean, you certainly could try it. Um, I, I, I might, I might try using a refill bottle on it and just see whether it actually makes it better or not. But I don't find the Defiant Designs DS to be that difficult to fill up. You have funny viewers. What do you mean? I just, I love these comments. 
Oh, absolutely. Like I just shuffle my feet on the carpet constantly. I think that was referring right. to like build. Yeah, that's yeah. that's amazing. Eighties that could go a whole nother. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's what she said. Right. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Pretty These are much. just D's. I just have two D's on me right now. <laughs> um. No, eight D's are a truck slash tractor battery. Okay. Okay. So, well, so yeah, gonna... when when the guy starts arguing with me, I'll tell him that you know I that I didn't screw it up. I just had eight D's strapped to me, and uh, I don't think that fine. would do it. Yeah. Put my face right between. Them. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Let's see. Too here. far. I use I use double D's. Okay. Maybe he's. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Funny because I have double D's. Keep, though, keep yeah. it civil, guys. <laughs> you won't offend me, guys. Let's see. <laughs> God, so much, so much. James Franklin. What did you say? Let's see here. Um. Yeah. So I uh, I didn't get a chance to build your coils last night because yesterday was the day I got that news. Take so your time. Just, everything no. just kind of went crazy. Um. But yeah, my definitely you'll be getting some, and you know from you saw the list, you're getting some yeah. a little bit lower in resistance. So, um, be prepared for your batteries to to take take a nice hit. <laughs> but. It'll be good. What what so what other atomizers do you have other than the Aeolus light? I am so fucking boring. All right. You ready? Aeolus light. Aeolus light. Aeolus light. Oh boy. Aeolus light. Not done. Aeolus light. Oh man. Aeolus light. And oh, sounds like you're uh you recoil need, like, RDA. Oh, it's some re the recoil. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, my hexo. Because you know, the thing is, because on, on my recoil, I use you know, uh, I'm trying to remember if they're M Turks. I don't remember whose coils are in right now, but you know, I've got the thing turned all the way up as high as it goes because otherwise, you're just waiting for those coils, and that sucks. Actually, yeah. I better check that there's juice on it before I vape it. So one of my things is that uh, one of the one of my things about the coils that I make is that I don't I don't want to have any you know ramp up that you have to like get through right yeah. you know what i mean like i hate that that's that's one thing i hate so what i do is i tend to use a lot of smaller gauge wires as opposed to like less bigger gauge wires right i found that that generally tends to perform a little bit better so is it also uh, like if you use um um instead of canthal you use i use nichrome yep thank you i'm sorry niachrome yeah niachrome. Uh, um but does that heat up faster it does a lot, a lot faster. I mean, so, you know, granted I did just vape off of this, but you know, this build is not, you know, not all hot or anything, but you know, check this out. Right. So you've, you know, you've got these coils push button, boom, you know, you've got ramp up. Oh, wow. That is fast. Time, you know, cause it's, it's, I, I find a long ramp up time to be unacceptable for, for most situations. Yeah. So let's see here. Oh shit! See now I took the barrel off of the Aquitas, which means that I have to figure out how it goes back on, so I don't fuck it up. Joshua Apathy Miller. What did you say his name was again? Or didn't you? I don't. Whatever. Yeah, when kids pass, my son died at seventeen, oh, which was four years ago, and yeah, that fucking is your life. Your Damn. life is just never, never the same again. It's like it's like having a, a limb or two amputated. Damn, damn. Sorry to hear that. That's that's rough. Why well, I do what I do to try to get like you know the word for like suicide prevention out there and yeah, yeah. No, and that's I remember what, you were doing a, a you're you're doing like a campaign for that right now. Yeah, it's been going for it's been going for a while. We've got like fifteen thousand nice. uh, dollars that we raised for um, uh, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and uh, that album that I sent you, my album, that's all about kind of the experience of losing a child and then. The money that I got from selling that album uh, has gone and is continuing to go to uh, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Is, is, that, well. this, is that this album? I, I, hold on. I've got the chat screen up in front of everything. No, it's okay. It's yes, the, uh, that album. That's my son. That's the last picture of my son. Okay. Was, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I'll definitely have a listen. It's. Uh, I'm looking at the, the tracks in the back. 
I've had my share of of you know death experiences as well, in that uh, both my parents are passed away. Um, my mom, right. my mom died when I was twenty one, and then my dad died when I was twenty three. So yeah. separate separate causes, but you know it's it's just crazy. You know, it's uh, you can't underest can't overestimate how hard that is. You know, and, no, I mean the thing is. I can't say this enough. If you love someone, tell them it every single day because Absolutely. you don't know when that next day is going to come and, and, and they're not there. Right. Absolutely. It's, it's unbelievable how fast that, that whole thing happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, You're welcome, Jay. God damn it, eyes. Shima? Yeah, some, Shima, Shima. Shima? I'm not sure. Sorry uh, for mispronouncing. Lost my daughter. Know. Oh, fucking SIDS is the worst. Uh, man. Sorry. Mrs. Panda. Mrs. Panda. Oh, there must be Mr. Panda's other half, perhaps. Okay. Vaping Panda Pete. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Empire Vapor, do I play Fortnite? Um, I do not play Fortnite. A friend of mine tried to get me into that this weekend, or not this weekend, but like two days ago. And I was like, mm, not going to be... Uh, you know, it's uh, I used to, I used to game a ton. Like I was a huge video game player back in the day, and it's just I just don't have the time or the energy to like get into these games and play them all the way through. Like I've played a number of RPGs in the last couple of years, and I just had this nasty habit of starting them and then like getting about a third of the way through and just like putting them down because I'm just not. It's not. I don't know. Last game I played was like Tomb Raider. I, I haven't played in a long time. Tomb Raider, like the the recent Tomb Raider. No, or? like like PlayStation Tomb Raider, like the original PlayStation. Oh, I remember that. It was awesome. Yeah. It was a great game. My my son had a, a at a PS4, but sure. uh, and it was pretty amazing, like the graphics. But I'm not I'm not a gamer. Yeah, Matt Lineski, was it Adam? Yes, it is boy. It was boy. I was actually, Matt, uh, now that you're here, this is Michelle that made this mod, um, the the Dull Dime Dual Parallel Altoids tin mod, and uh, Matt is the guy that has that DNA 20, isn't it, that's in the the Altoids tin? 20, you said a 20 or 40? Is it either the DNA 20 or DNA 40? I'm not really sure. Michelle, how did you learn to build your mods? Um, well... I don't think I ever really learned. I just, well, so I've been, I'm a bass player. I've been playing bass for, um, oh my God. I've been playing bass for 36 years. And uh, along the way, I just started repairing my own bass. And then I started repairing friends' basses. And, you know, that got me good at soldering. And uh, then it was just time to build a mod. I just, I went online and I looked at some diagrams you know, for different boxes. And then once I saw like, okay, switches can't handle that amperage. We knew that. So how are they doing it? And they're using a transistor or, you know, MOSFET. And, uh, but then once I saw how to do it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It really is. I have another new mod on the Finally. way. Hemo. Hem Hemo demo. That's the, uh, so, so every now and again, you'll run across someone who calls me demo vapes. Oh, okay. That's that's from uh, when I was at Vape Showcase St. Louis. They printed out Demo Vapes with an E in there as oh. Demo Vapes. Oh, it's just never. It's just stuck ever since. And I had no. I had no. No idea that that was going to be a thing that stuck. So. Is my <laughs> Sorry, my dog is completely tangled oh, in my. Rob just said, "Dog looking around to see who you're talking to." <laughs> yep. Oh no! You got a limelight gloom. Oh. Oh, I got to try that. That's everyone's been talking about the limelight gloom, like it's like the the shit. Hey, puppy. She she's a vapor. She vapes like a mad woman. Really? <laughs> Vape dog. Vape dog. Vape dog. Um, let's see here. Steven said you sent me that dreamer, right, Demo? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure actually. I just uh, kind of put the boxes together and just shuffled them and then once they were done i picked who got who and i stuck the coils in and taped them up so i don't actually know who got what i tried to make it real random oh my god like it's it's uh scrapbooking time now let's talk about something like happy ponies and scrapbooking 
Oh God, I haven't scrapbooked since I was in school. Where's your glue? I just sniffed the whole bottle. Sorry. <laughs> and she, Michelle, took it from you. Yeah. Um, let's see. It's the full Altum one, says Matt. Oh, I don't know about Altum, but that's. Uh, let's see here. I'm old enough now where my parents could go away any day. Oh damn. Damn man. Yeah, death sucks. That's that's that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear it. Um, so yeah, so I've been really digging this. This is the, uh, the dragon scale lazy vapors, uh, you know, stabilized wood mod. And he made like these individual scales out of stabilized wood and glued them all together. That's amazing. It's incredible. Like, it's like, I, you know, it, it, I think that his other ones have the pattern like that, you know, so they're like scales going down. Mine, mine went up, but, uh. It's pretty. It's pretty sweet. It's it's just a completely, you know, mechanical. Oh yeah. Mod, you know, but it's. Uh, it's a nice switch nice though. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that. like like you can listen to this like. Yeah, that's it's like nice. really nice and like. Free it doesn't sound mushy. And, no, it's not mushy at all. It like yeah. has a really nice action on it and it hits nice and hard as long as you you know make sure your contacts are clean. Vape cat. Hmm. I have a vape cat too, but I don't know where she is. Vape cat. I'll see if I can get vape cat for you. Nina, come here, girl. Come here. Come here. My cat actually listens to me. Nina, so come here. Hemo Matt just sent me a picture of his new uh, limelight gloom squonker there. That's pretty sweet. Hold on. Let's see. Let's bring it back up. Yep. There we go. So is that, the, full, is that the fully the mechanical one, Matt, or did you get the one with the button and the MOSFET? Yeah. It looks like the one that's fully mechanical. Let's see here. Did I pick that up in Tampa? No, Rob, I did not. This one was sent to me. I picked this up from Seth. On um, you know, we we Seth and I chat every now and again about you know various different you know things, and this was. I saw a friend of mine recommend or a friend friend of mine talked to him and like kind of put this idea in his head for the dragon scale thing and he made 10 of them and i picked up one of the 10 so you know what like here's the thing like like i no apologies for it i'm kind of a high-end mods enthusiast right like i really like high-end stabilized wood stuff you know i'll still test all the other stuff but this is i love this stuff and just because of the craftsmanship right it doesn't vape any better necessarily than anything else do you but take them out with you or do, do. are they like just like home vapes no 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 i take these out like there are there are a couple that i never leave the house with just purely because of size or of like safety concerns that i don't want to like like this one the switch is so light that i don't often take this one outside of the house with me just because i don't want it to go off in my pocket yeah. but um you know, if it's safe and if it's, you know, if I believe that it's not just going to fall apart, right, yeah. then, which, I mean, no mod should just fall apart, right? But, like, I'll bring them out, you know. Um, I actually just picked up, I'm, I have on order from Vape, Vape Werkstatt that uh, the Vape Workstatt is what it looks like. The They make that, that okay. Delrin Code 2 mod that Grim Green talks about all the time. It's that, like, neural Delrin 2 mod. Um. Anyway, I I ordered one of their silver uh, silver tubes, so it's a uh, silver plated copper, and that's that should come in a couple weeks. I never I'm upgraded to any of the newer mechs, like you know, to take the bigger batteries. I just I have this older, um, eighteen six fifty mech that I love with a original um Aeolus V two Pro, and I I just love the look of it. I love I just love everything about it. And it's carbon fiber around nice. uh, stainless, and I just nice. I like the look of it. At least I think it's carbon fiber. Well, it is carbon. It's real carbon fiber around. Yeah, stainless. Okay, we're in. That looks cool. Somebody asked the MMK. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up my Gmail real quick and I'll show you the picture of this this mod. It's pretty 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 cool. Let's see here. Maybe. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let me just uh, screen share real quick. <coughs> share. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, present to everyone. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so this is the. I, I don't think I'll have this exact serial number, but this is. This is what it looks like. It's the Delrin coated, but it's a silver plated uh, copper tube. 
So that's going to be that. And then they also make the full silver coated too, but I don't, that looks like a lot of work to keep, to keep up with that. So I'm just going to go with this, uh, this one here. So it's pretty legit, pretty legit. I'm not much of a tube mod guy myself, like necessarily, but every now and again, I'll see one and I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Full Ultim. Uh, they're, talking about that. That, uh, they're talking about that uh, squonk that Matt sent me. It's a full full Ultim mech squonk from a company called Limelight out of oh. Romania, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, so instead of having like a 3D community. printed body or whatever, it's it's actually Ultim instead of plastic. Yeah, it's like Ultim that's been like machined because you can machine Ultim like you can. Metal. Wow. So um, yeah, no, it's 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 a pretty cool mod. So Limelight, there, I think you know, in the high end squonk market right now, Limelight is like the the one to have. So at least at the moment. So. Well, like I said, I'm a musician, which means I'm pretty much broke all the time. So <laughs> no hemo mods here. I mean, about as well, hemo as I get is my hex home, and that's not really hemo. Well, ultimately, frankly, one could consider this hemo to the ultimate degree because you can't even get them unless you've been chosen to buy them, which is about as hemo as it gets, actually. But yeah, not 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 necessarily intended to be that way. But it's like yeah, no, it's, it's like proto hemo. You know what I mean? Like it's like. Hemo, I'd but like, like not not really. I like to think of it as a dull dime. It's not the shiny penny. It's not the shiny. It's it's the fucking one that was like caught in the bottom of your handbag or wallet, and uh, you know whole, you haven't found it, thing. and then it's, it's all screwed up. And that that's what I like. Yep. 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 This is plastic. Apex. That's pretty much what Ultim is. It's it's extremely heat resistant. Uh, type of plastic that the, the way the structure works is that it, it 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 shares it shares a lot of aspects with plastic, but it also shares some aspects with metal as well because it's so like rigid and you know I think if I'm not mistaken it's a crystalline structure as well, so it's you're able to to mold it like metal and uh, you know machine it and whatnot. So it, it has a lot. It's it, the heat resistance of Ultim is about four times that of Delrin. So it it uh, for real applications. I mean, I have a friend that works in Ultim 3D printing, for example, and he 3D prints uh, things for like aerospace companies out of Ultim, and because it's heat resistant and very lightweight. As yeah, Joshua Abdi Miller just said, yeah, we used it in a lot of parts for NASA and jets. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's heavily used material in the aerospace industry. So despite I, it being, I personally like to take the 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 tiles off of the space shuttle, and okay. I make mods out of that. No shit. Okay, those must be really rare. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see one. You got one laying around? Oh, it's right. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right there. Did you see it? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Well, um, okay, let's see. If you, do you guys have any more questions for us here? We'll, just, we'll answer a few more questions, and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and sign off, I think. Let me make this not run for hours and hours. Not that I don't enjoy hanging out with you, Michelle, and all of you guys in chat. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> just not repeat last week. I'm not making right. any more mods for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you you probably woke up the next morning and were like, oh, uh oh. Nah, you've always been cool. So I thought, you know, that oh. no, I was no, it's good. It's all good. No, thanks. I appreciate it. I just so like, like to joke I, about how like I'm like completely unsure as to like I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, it's all cool. Yeah. Oh, Matt's talking about that. Uh yeah, there was a mech mod that was made out of meteorite. Like get a, out like of here legit meteorite like rock and apparently I, I think it was like five thousand dollars or something crazy like that i mean it was really expensive because it's made of meteorite right so um but here's the problem that i see if it's made of rock how can that conduct electricity <laughs> like how do well, you, you do you that? don't need to you don't need to i, I mean, guess you don't know because you just either if you're making like a mech mod you just make a tube of it and if you're making like a little squonker I mean, you're basically going to just take a piece of, oh. of metal and bend it around for the batteries. So, sure. $10,000, apparently. Whoa. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I'll pass on that. Yeah. Even I could not stomach that kind of thing. Like for me, look, like, you know, I like the high-end mods, but one of the things about high-end mods is that they can look really cool, but if they don't function very well, then oh, I have a huge it. problem with that. And I have a huge problem with paying more money than something is really worth, which is why I really like these. Cause so uh, this one is expensive because it's the dragon scale. But if you get his regular version of this, which is just, you know, a, a stabilized wood in the front and back and on the button, um, I think he's selling these for like 250 or something like that, which for a stabilized wood mod is not actually that bad. What's a relic mod? I don't think I've ever seen that. It says rel for five grand. Dot mod is 15. What the fuck is a dot mod doing at 1500 bucks? What kind of dot mod is it? Oh, it was that uh, one that they covered in cubic zirconia. Oh, that's ridiculous. You remember seeing that? They like they covered a, a tube mod in, cu in cubic zirconias and charged like 1850 for it. Yeah. And uh, I remember Twisted 420 had one and was like, this thing's awesome. And I was like, that's because it's coated in diamonds. Not really. But... Let's see. It was called. It was called the dot bling. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up here. Dot bling. Swanker drip drip. Nope. Nope. It's a uh, tube mod. Oh no! I didn't mean that. Somebody asked squonker or drip. Oh. Drip. That's my answer. I don't know about the rest of the folks. Are you talking about like in general, or are you talking about this? Because this is a squonk. Hey, ho bag. Oh, <laughs> bag. I love that. All right. Let me find. All right. Here it is. Okay. So let me screen share real quick and present. Oh my cool. god, that's ridiculous. Yeah, right. Look at that. Like seriously? Like Yeah. 1800 bucks for that. I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong, like, you know, in a blingy kind of pimpy way, like I would rock that, but like I would never ever bring it outside of the house with me and I would never I no, nah, I, I nah, no. Nah. I It doesn't even look comfortable to hold. Forget it. Like I'm not I'm just not interested like at all. Not interested. Their, their tubes don't even hit that hard, frankly. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see your stop. Okay, there we go. Was that made when it was a, when it was really dot mod or after the buy? No, that just came out like oh. two months ago, I think, a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, that whole situation. I I used to really be into dot mod. I have one of my favorite atomizers is the Peach V two. Um. And I I have like five Petri V2s and I just got one of their new squonk kits for it. So now they make a squonk kit so you can squonk with Petri, which sounds like the worst idea ever because the airflow is so low to the deck that yeah. you can squonk and it would just leak. That, so, but it works? Uh, I've never tried it actually. I have, I have the squonk set up at, in, in my cabinet downstairs and, you know, it's I just haven't bothered. I haven't bothered yet. I, I, this happens, you know, like I get so much vape stuff that like some stuff I get and I'll be like, I'll use that later. And I stick it on a shelf and then months go by. And, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh shit, I never used that. See, I'm not a collector. I feel bad. I've got, I've got so many mods that are up here on the shelf that I don't use anymore. And whenever I get like a friend who's a smoker and I talk him into vaping, I'll just give them, it's like, I just give my mods away. Cause in fact, that's one of the reasons I, I sent you that Altoids because like I wanted to build myself this, uh, curious george one right but then i'm like oh i've already got too many right. so so it just it was like right thing at the right time right absolutely let's see here um so i feel about buying the cosmonauts as vapor swagons um yeah the cosmonaut mm -hmm. is pretty legit it is great how much is a cosmonaut uh well there's a deal right now you can get one on breezy.com mm -hmm. for like 30 bucks Oh, not a bad deal at all. And uh, anyone that's thinking about going to buy a cosmonaut, check it out because that uh, that is some pretty great that is some pretty great pricing for a cosmonaut. I will tell you. Um, and I've got a I've got a coupon code for you guys if you want to go to Breezy. It's uh, oh, Harry H A R R Y Balls, and uh, that'll get you ten off. <laughs> Hungry Demo 20 at all pizza places around the United States for 20% off of your pizza, your next pizza order. I tried that. It didn't work. Oh, man. See, it's just, it's, some places haven't rolled it out yet. You know, like, it's it's just uh, it's just been a mess, you know. I keep telling people to try it, and everybody keeps bringing me back, you know, say, oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. You got you to gotta call them and, and tell them that. <laughs> well, you know what, though? <laughs> I think I need to order pizza now. Just call them up and be like, hey, I got this code, Hungry Demo 20 for 20% off. They'll be like, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. All right, guys. Well, um, let's see. Vapex asks, uh, are there any woods you would not use to make a mod? I'm not really good at woodworking. The, 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 the mahogany one that I made, that's it. I'm not ever making another one. It took way too long to make. I'm and sure. uh, just, it, it was a it was a headache. But I mean, now that it's done, I love it. But never, never making another one of those. Yeah, that's right. Nick Bissett said if anybody got it to work, uh, he would pay for their pizza. He made like an <laughs> open offer too. It was like it was like if anyone gets this to work, I will pay for your pizza. I I'm gonna try now. Yeah, and 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 it was like if you work for a pizza place or you know a person that works for a pizza place, so you're disqualified. But <laughs> You know, like if you can get if you can convince them, then he'll, he would pay for it. Um, so I can charge a lot. Cool. Are you making wood mods, or am I following the wrong? Wait, say what? Yeah, that's true. You can really use anything. The, the The thing is, depending on what you use to build your mod in, just be aware of its conductivity. Wood's great for that because you're not going to get any shorts or anything. But these tins, it would. It was a bit of a uh, of a uh, um, kind of learning experience because tin is super conductive, and uh, you have to just make sure everything is isolated and insulated. And uh, my first mod, I went through a couple of MOSFETs because I shorted it. Right, I was gonna say because I know I've, I noticed here you've got your MOSFET uh, heat shrinked and zip tied around here. Yeah, but I don't. But I so I. I don't remember what I did on that one because that's an earlier one. But I, now I only heat shrink the bottom, and I also use a, a heat sink on the back of the uh, MOSFET, and then I heat shrink around it, but really loosely because you want the air to flow through there. You don't want it to overheat. Sure, um, sure, sure. Like if something is going to fail on the mod, it's the MOSFET, and that's why when I build one, I usually uh, test them for like a week before I send them out because right. if it doesn't fail on that first week, it's not going to fail. Right, exactly. Let's see here. All right, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead. Let me just go up and see if uh, there is any more comments. I don't see any more questions. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, was, you know, Michelle Lynn, thank you so much for joining uh, on this Thanks stream for having and, me. and talking about your mods. And, and uh, you know, your, your, your crew is, is fucking hilarious. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the best, the best people on YouTube, the best, the best yeah. vape viewers on youtube are here right now so cool all right guys well thank you so much and uh you guys all have a great day and slash night slash day and uh yeah we'll see y'all later demo out Bye. <laughs>